lead. The county board of supervisors will consider taking action at its meeting tomorrow morning. CBS 8's Anna Laurel is live at the county administration building tonight after being at the supervisors news conference today. Anna. That's right, Jesse. Now supporters of the centers say that shutting them down is a direct attack on women who need help. But out at that news conference earlier today, that county supervisor and those representatives with Planned Parenthood, well, they call those crisis pregnancy centers fraudulent, fake medical clinics. They're not new, but they are newly aggressive. They're fake centers uh, pretending to offer reproductive health care advice to women. Supervisor Tara Lawson Raymer says she's asking the county's board of supervisors to approve spending county time and resources to tell women crisis pregnancy centers are fake and dangerous and look to see if they can shut them down. They do not offer uh, actual medical advice. They do not offer any kind of prenatal services. They instead essentially try to prevent women from um, exercising the right to seek uh, health services and to seek an abortion. In a statement from Carolyn Cool with the Hope Clinic for Women in Fallbrook, she says last year the clinic provided over 3,380 free services to women, including pregnancy tests, maternity and infant resources, ultrasounds, parenting classes, and mentoring. They do not, nor do any crisis pregnancy centers, offer abortions. She goes on to say it's a travesty that they are directly targeting centers whose mission is to aid women at no cost solely because they are pro-abortion and we are not. The chief medical officer for Planned Parenthood was also at today's news conference. She says pregnancy centers are run by anti-abortion volunteers who are not trained professionals and they pop up in Google searches when women are looking for pregnancy help advertise free pregnancy tests and pregnancy or abortion counseling. They're often listed online as pregnancy resource or help centers, women's resource centers or abortion alternatives. But we know we have at least 16 operating here in San Diego County. I asked the supervisor specifics about the 16 crisis pregnancy centers. She said she won't name them unless the county's legal department investigates and if they're operating fraudulently, she wants the county to sue if they have to to shut them down. There's not a lot of um, good data on what's going on with these centers and so that's one of the big reasons that we need to educate people. In her statement, Cool with the Hope Clinic for Women says the board's misinformed and misguided efforts to shut places like pregnancy centers down is a direct attack on women in need of assistance. Now the supervisors meeting is tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. right here behind me in the building, the county administration building. You can submit a comment online. There are about 600 of them right now. If you can't make it to the meeting tomorrow, we'll put a link to that on our website at CBS8.com. Jesse. Now, Anna, these crisis pregnancy centers in the state have gone to court before about not advising pregnant women about abortions and they won those cases. What have you found out about that? That's right. Back in 2018, the United States Supreme Court handed down a decision on this lawsuit that originated right here in California with those crisis pregnancy centers. And the Supreme Court said that those centers could not be forced to tell patients about abortions or how to get them. Definitely a topic getting a lot of political attention. Anna Laurel reporting for us. Thanks, Anna.